So, we clearly have the ingredients, I believe. As we look into the dark cupboard of cupboard things. He's got his tuna. How much tuna do you need? How much tuna? You should go for two lots of tuna, I reckon. <laughs> what, really? One for six people? I can't be right. Considering you're taking out the tuna, so it's taking out the pasta, so the majority is now tuna. <laughs> I can skip the second part of the oh good he's putting something in he's putting water in the pan and actually he's putting something in the pan and turn the heat on unlike Wahid who thought it would be a great idea to put the heat on when the pan was empty what that's for the pasta which I'm not putting in let's turn the gas off Tim safety first Yep. Yeah. Special guest was actually in face in the video this time. Right. So seriously, it only says for six people, 185 grams. Big T. And you, Renee. Yeah, genius. So what's, how do we make 425 grams? How much, what's 185 times 2? 300, and math isn't my strong suit, people. What's, four, what's 185 times 2? That's 300... No, wait, wait, 150 would be 300. I think it's 370. Either way, it's not enough, so here's 2, <laughs> and... We're going to have to chuck all three in. Enough of your potty mitt. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. It's only the second time I've done it today. So here we go. It's tuna ca capital tuna right now. There's no pasta, so I suppose it makes sense that it's going to be pretty much math error again here. No, math problem here. 185 times three is... Is. Do you want me to get a piece of paper for you? That won't help, but let me try to do a long division here. Anyway, long division, <laughs> shut up. Long multiplication. <laughs> Multi long, long multiplication here, whilst holding the cat. Go, get to your cooking, you. Uh, writing with one hand. <laughs> As I said it like it's the most amazing thing. Writing with one hand, yeah, because you usually write with two hands, come to think of it. <coughs> Alright, people, you're getting a first-hand look at how I think. I haven't done long multiplication in God knows how long. Um, <laughs> this is going to be very interesting, to say the least. Yeah, if I do it by three, you write the three underneath the line, don't you? But I thought you write 185 out three times in a row. That's, it. That's how you do it if you want to add it. Oh. <laughs> yes, you can do it that way. Shut up. Let's go back to the beginning. Uh, 1853. There we go. And then put the line. Then the line. Yes. And usually, usually an X to say it's multiplication. Got it. Multiplication. <laughs> All right, here goes. I've got. I can't see what I'm writing, like because the camera's in the way. I've got to look through the camera okay, as Tim pokes with the knife. Okay, you times that by that. Oh yeah, no, I and remember it, now. It, I remember. Okay, it's, so uh, that. Lamer, uh, okay, uh, okay, it's uh, fifteen. Right down on this line here. I can't see what I'm doing. Fifteen and um, three times eight. Right. The fifteen. So you write down the five and carry the one. And oh crap. <laughs> 
and carry the wands of wit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Screw it. No one needs to figure out this. It, it's just pointless, horrible. Math. You know, want to show you want me to show you my distaste for this, people? Watch. <laughs> I completely forgot. I completely forgot there was ink on that when I shoved it in my mouth. <laughs> Let's get back to cooking, shall we? How are you going, Tim? <laughs> Wow, I can't believe I just shoved that in my mouth, completely forgetting I had written on it. <laughs> well, how much loud does it say? You have to now. You have to compensate for the extra. No, we. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. God, that tasted, I well, didn't taste disgusting, it was just because I wrote on it and I didn't want to obviously eat ink, did I? <laughs> Tim's just filling up the plate, the, filling up the um, thing with cocaine. <laughs> Get me some of that drugs in here. This is, um, this is the uh, Drugos version of it. Get a lot of cocaine in that pan, boil it up, or meth, whatever you want. Still well, that that's cocaine. What, what's what's that yellow thing? Vomit. You what? It's a very exclusive recipe. You have to get cocaine, eat it till you vomit. Vomit into the pan, and then put the remainder of the cocaine with it and mix it up. You pass the cup. Which cup? The one in the cupboard underneath you, the orange ones. No, the other side. Oh. <laughs> Which one? The bottom one. The big old fat one. Yes. And the grater as well. Gratia. Pick that up in a minute. <laughs> So yeah, again, just to reiterate, that's not cocaine, so don't flag us on YouTube and take us down for supposed drug use. <laughs> We're cooking tuna mornay today in Heaven's Kitchen, not crystal meth, okay? It's plain flour, there you go. <laughs> it, 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 it looks wrong for crystal. No, but you know how you make co meth with cocaine? No. Whatever. <laughs> Um, let's just pretend it's snow. Just patchy snow. Come on. Oh, I'm getting distracted. Shouldn't I be on? Turn the heat off! It's fine. Relax. What? Relax. Gas! Light. <laughs> Explosions. It's fine. Okay. So Tim's making a sauce. Who to thought? Is that enough cheese? How much do you need? Oh. You know when you make a sauce you have to keep stirring it constantly. I'm getting so distracted. <laughs> oh, that's one cut. Yeah, he needs more. There's a bit of cheese in there. Do you get the milk? Getting the milk. Which one? The fat one? No, the light one. Alright. Skinny jeans one. There it is. The milk. The milk. Probably not enough cheese, but I don't care. 
I'll just chop up another bit and quickly finish it off. It's work. It's work. Do you everyone know the famous song by Dolly Parton, working nine to five, and the movie? If Tim wrote it, it would be working nine to nine, and that's AM, AM, not AM, PM. <laughs> oh, sorry, I should have said that wrong. It would be working nine to five after nine. <laughs> Just a quick five minute working day, you know. The usual for Tim. If I was employed. Yes. Speaking of employment, I had an interview at Woolworths today. Not that any of you watching, if anyone, do, not that anyone is watching, but even if they were, not that anyone would care. And I think it went swimmingly well. The eighth one I've had. Indeed, so. Add the tuna, I believe. No, no, what no, 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 about add the tuna? See why I'm holding a coin? People. Magic. Where's the coin? It's gone! Where's the coin? Failed that. Where's the coin? It's gone! Tim stirring it. I put enough flour in. You should have. Two tablespoons. Yeah, I did put two tablespoons. Be on the safe side. There's the coin. There it still is, because I failed. There's the coin. There it's not. Oh my god, a coin's taken up the screen. Yes, yeah, what? I'm filming you. Mm -hmm. Tim, stirring away. In comes the milk. Heavy duty. Swap hands, because I'm right handed, unlike anyone else in this house. Two to four. Tim cooking? Not me. What does it say on the recipe now? Meanwhile, me I, you you can't see it. I'll just I'll just hold the camera here, film Tim doing this, and read it out. Meanwhile, melt the butter in a small saucepan over a medium heat. Stir the flour until smooth. Gradually mix in milk so that no lumps form. Obviously, Boom. stir constantly until the mixture boils. Then mix in half of the cheese. I put in all the cheese already. Congrats. Add the pea, blah, 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 drain the tuna, hang on, you haven't added the tuna, oh, you, you don't need to add the tuna, drain the tuna, leaving a small amount of liquid to keep it moist. Flake with a fork and stir into the cheese mixture. Transfer to a casserole dish and top with the remaining cheese, sprinkle bread comes over the cheese. Bake for 20 minutes in the preheated oven and blah, 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 what do you mean 15 minutes, Tim? No, it says that at the top. Lies. So yeah, once that's all done and made into a sauce, which it looks more like a vomit and porridge mixture right now than a sauce, you drain the tuna, Tim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's sort of thick, authentically three tins of sauce, I guess. Oh, I might as well add it all anyway. <laughs> Everyone loves tuna. Exactly, that's why I say add in more tuna, because, you know, just in case the sauce tastes like a bitter, acidic thing. No, you can't have stuffed it up that bad. It's not like you've got anything in there which is like, if you completely, I mean, yeah, you did add all the cheese at once, which could make it a bit... <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, <coughs> wait, 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 no. That doesn't matter. You only add the other cheese if you add the breadcrumbs. Yeah, which I'm not doing. Okay. No, keep it going until it's like properly consistent. You can still tell, I can still see lumps from a mile away. Well, not literally, but. <laughs> Let me go a mile away to check. Oh crap, there's a wall in the way. Never mind. <laughs> this is the straightest we get you for miles. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not gagging at that. <laughs> Just to clear up for the people who are watching, I'm not going <laughs> when I'm looking at that. No. <laughs> Clean up this mess. God, yeah, it's like a meth dungeon down here. <laughs> Got it's cocaine sp all over the place. Yeah, it's too solid. You need more runny, don't you? Not that much, Tim. I know. I know you personally go crazy on milk, but this sauce does not need that much milk. So I'm guessing you are eating it with spoons. Yes. Yeah, because I'm not going to have it all by myself. <laughs> Now I'm going to attempt to do something very stupid and dangerous as a way to keep filming you. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to cut a bit of cheese one-handed. And ruin the package completely. Well, I couldn't get through to it otherwise. And you start from the right side. What? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Right edge. I've got to keep the... F Go, keep stirring. I'm going to get lumps in it. You don't need to keep watching me. You'll you'll hear if I fail. Like, ah, like that. <laughs> I'm not making it any easier on myself. The fact that I'm not even looking at what I'm doing. <laughs> Let me clean that up a bit. <laughs> Burn it. Ow. All the muscle in my hand, not really, but. I'm gonna go Tim on this cheese. Where's the veggie, mate? Oh, I know Tim puts peanut butter. And. Oh, I'm doing this all one handed! This is amazing camera work for me, if I may say so myself. You can't, see, no one here can see what I'm doing, but no one will anyway, because no one's going to watch it, but. <laughs> I love how I keep taking digs at our show, because that's saying no one's going to watch it. Next, next thing we know, I'm going to look back at the views for one episode, it's going to, wow, it's an awful lot, whatever. I'm going to look back at the views for one episode, and it's going to be like, <laughs> through the roof over like a two million plus views <laughs> for this one. It's kind of liquidy on me, what? Turn it off. Drain the tuna. And don't help me, I'm fine. I could easily just put the camera down, but you know. Um, no, you're gonna just wreck it, Tim. It's fine. If it's liquidy, there's no lumps in it right now, I can see. You don't want to make it worse. Yeah, like it's a weapon. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, I was doing it one-handed. You try and do better. <laughs> no, one-handed, don't look at it. Go, Let, let's watch Tim fail. I was doing it from the top bit down, like when it's high, whatever. You have to. Instincts, my friend. I did it, whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not easy, is it, Tim? Well, that's quite hard. There we go. Excuses from Tim. <laughs> when he says, oh, you did such a crap job, and then does it himself and does it crap, and then makes excuses to defend himself. That's a bad thing, Mike.
I love how we just stopped completely, forgetting what you're meant to be doing. <laughs> Mama Mongo. Oh no. Twenty-five minutes. You know what? All Tim's got to do now is. Well, keep stirring up what's going to get skin on top. I'll keep stirring, it's fine. Um, all Tim's got to do now is um, drain the tuna, and no one needs to see how to drain tuna. So, Tim, outro's yours, my friend. Goodbye. I'll make it a bit more exciting than that.